And Scott will be doing, oh, you know, I made a mistake. I said 3 p.m. It's actually 2 p.m. on Fridays, deep dive with Scott. But if uh, something comes up, you can also hang out with Tim. Uh, it's deep dive. It's all, computer's doing. Yeah, it's all the innards of CircuitPython and more. It really is a deep dive in how this amazing, cool, open source way to learn Python and also do electronics, which we call CircuitPython. Speaking of Python and hardware, Code plus community. We got a lot of stuff going on in the world of Python and hardware this week, Lady Ada. Uh, CircuitPython 9 beta is almost out. Yes. This, so is, this is pretty much the blueprint for Tim's there, project. This is Tim's project. Uh, uh, so what, we're doing what's a big, new? Okay, so we're doing a big push on getting 9.0.0 finalized. We had um, you know, some folks, developers had holidays, and then they had some family stuff and personal to take care of, but they're allowed them back. Um, a lot of stuff was added. Uh, some things that I personally think is cool. Um, JPEG IO support. We can now display JPEGs natively, uh, which is cool. I think we did GIFs before, but JPEGs are nice and fast. Um, update to ESP IDF5, you know, very important because we want to make sure we're up to date. Um, trying to think. Yeah, okay, a couple of SynthIO things, a couple of I2S things, bitmap filter uh, and better camera support. That's great for Memento. Folks who are getting our camera board want to uh, use it with um, doing filters on the fly. Uh, so we have some uh, built-in filters as well as uh, programmable filters you can use. USB host support, that's kind of what the, the poster is all about. Uh, and Tim's project, which is like, you know, you can plug CircuitPython into a keyboard and have it make keyboard. your own computer like work as part of the REPL. Um, and one uh, breaking change I think is important for people to know is when you mount SD cards, you now have to have the mount point existing. Like you can't, it doesn't like magically make it on mount. You have to create slash SD card before you can mount the SD card. Um, technically this is correct. This is how you're supposed to do it. Like let's say Linux does it. Um, I think we had been borrowing how MicroPython does it, which kind of lets you do it on the fly. Yeah, it's supposed to. Um, you're supposed to have the the folder exist beforehand. So it's just something to watch for. Um, but that allows us to do SD card support over web workflow, which also got a lot of updates. Um, so we'll be doing more web workflow projects as well. So okay. I'm looking forward to. All right. Uh, Other things, it's in the newsletter. This is a cool chart of all the Espresso microcontrollers. Uh, if you Tune in to show and tell Scott's favorite is ESP32S3. Um, P4 coming up, very interesting, right. very powerful. You can check out all of the CircuitPython 2024 uh, responses. These are all the things that people want to see in CircuitPython. You can check it out on the blog. Um, there's a lot of stuff uh, that's just, you know, regular Python on hardware. Raspberry Pi um, is a Linux computer, so it has Python. Uh, updates to TensorFlow Lite for RP2040 for microcontrollers. Um, if you want to install CircuitPython beta on a Raspberry Pi 02W, bare metal, that's what it's called. And then you can check out all the Python streams, Parsec, tons of projects. You can make a robot with the XRP program selector. You can look at our popular post. You can look at Love playground notes. Yeah, we'll get to that when we get to our learn guides. And then just like stuff that you've probably seen in either show and tell or on playground. News around the web. It is jam packed. If you're interested in this one was neat. I like this. Oh, yeah, this is this is a, this is a cool. This um, circuit python photographer project. made yeah. a really beautiful circuit python powered uh, DIY digital clock that works on top of the like the yeah. flash connector. Yeah, and uh, pretty much anything you can imagine, someone's doing it with Python on hardware right now. So check out all the projects and more. This is our newsletter. It comes out every single week to your inbox. Um, you can also look at it on the blog. You can also look at it on GitHub. You can also look at it on RSS. Go to Adafruit Daily. It's a completely separate website because we don't want to ever spam you. And we don't want you to think you need to have an Adafruit store account just to read a newsletter. We like to keep those things separate. So it is at adafruitdaily.com.